So while you've been busy inside revising, I've been outside in the sun riding my bike at uh, Bike Park Wales. Uh, the track sort of heads down the hill uh, behind me down there. Now, um, a lot of you had a shocker with A-level physics paper one, especially those of you doing AQA. Now, there's no point dwelling on the past. Yes, there were some difficult questions, and actually the style of the paper seemed very different to many of the past papers. However, what I found from being a teacher is that often in a series of exam papers from any exam board, one of them might seem quite easy, one of them might seem quite difficult, and just because paper one was difficult and maybe not what you expected, it doesn't mean that paper two is going to be the same. Now at this point, there's pretty much nothing else you can do. You have spent a lot of time revising many, many uh, topics. You've covered all the past papers that you possibly can. And there's not much else you can really do to prepare apart from going into the exam with a good attitude, knowing that just because paper one was difficult, it doesn't mean that paper two is going to be equally hard. The other thing is if you do find a question that you may be you're not sure about or you think it's going to take you too long to complete, don't get bogged down on that. Instead, move on and do the easier questions first and then come back to that question later on. It's all good exam technique, but I know in the middle of the exam, it is kind of, it's kind of hard not to panic sometimes and maybe think, oh, everybody else is doing this question really well. I'm the only one who's going to find it difficult. Just be, I suppose, confident that you do know the physics. And if it's a difficult question for you, it's going to be equally difficult for everybody else. And that means the grade boundaries are going to be adjusted accordingly. If it's a really difficult paper, if there's lots of tricky questions there, there are going to be low grade boundaries to get the top grades awarded. So yeah, um, basically I hope that everything goes really well with physics paper two. Of course, I've got extra resources uh, you can use over A-level physics online. But until then, you know what you're doing. Good luck in the next few days.